If you are a parent, you might be just wondering where to get the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to school supplies this year. Now, the National Retail Confederation and Federation says that families are going to spend more than $800 per kid this year. Since I'm a mom, I decided that I should go ahead and just take care of the back to school shopping list for WRTV. Our list is short. We decided to head to the stores and get four items. Four different stores compare the prices on the list. Pencils, a notebook, a folder, and some highlighters. Are you ready? Let's go shopping. You need wide rolls, sweet babe. In the throws of school supplies. We have four reams of paper, black expo markers. Ow! Yeah. Parents are helping to set their kids up for success. We bought some stuff on clearance last year, so we kind of shopped the um, closet. Emily Miller is shopping for her two kids. Wow, are you helping shopping? Yeah. What do you have in your cart, little Miss Thing? I'm okay. Now, I have a two year old, so I thankfully have not had to do back to school shopping yet. But the consensus among the moms is that it doesn't really matter the brand. Let's find the cheapest price and Target brand this eight pack of pencils brings in at just 39 cents. All righty, now we are at the notebooks. I am blown away. Some of these notebooks up to $8. Let's go for the cheapest route all the way down here at the bottom. These are about a dollar. You just, the hardest decision, deciding what color you're going to get. Obviously, I'm going to pick pink and it's the store brand again. Now it's time for the folders. And of course, parents, our kids are going to want the pretty ones with the characters and the designs. But parents, that is not going to be your most cost effective option. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom again. This one right here comes in at just 15 cents. We are going to round out our WRTV back to school shopping list with some highlighters. There's not a whole lot of options, but it looks like this Vic brand is the cheapest at $1.79. All right, store number one done. Let's head to store number two. I'm probably going to have to take a unicorn in time. And the prices are climbing. Let's check out store number three. You might actually be shocked about this one. Let's head to our last stop. Now that's a wrap on our back to school shopping. Let's go compare the prices. Target and Walmart were roughly the same. $2.97 and $2.82. Meyer and Dollar Tree were a bit more than that, coming in at $4.26 and $5.35. The National Retail Federation estimates that parents are going to spend more than $800 on back to school supplies this year. That's because some lists have these scientific calculators on them that really blow your budget out of the water. And don't get me started on the cost of clothes and shoes. It's enough that parents feel they have to work to find the best deals. Mom, get out the red one. Even if it means traveling to several stores to get the items. Now the roughly $875 estimated to be spent is about $15 less than last year's $890, but it is the second highest amount in the survey's history. I was surprised by the Dollar Tree one, but it's because everything was the same price instead of some of the other stores had folders for, let's say, like 25 cents.